Anytime you're dealing with uh, finding LCDs of numbers, right? if they're both prime numbers, it might, makes it easy. You just include them as separate factors. However, if you don't have prime numbers, <coughs> the way that you will um, find your LCD is you usually take the larger of the two numbers and then just find multiples of that number until you find the number that's also a multiple of the others involved. So <coughs> if I looked at just these two, 8 and 4, I'd start with the, lar the larger number, 8. Is 8 a multiple of 4? Yes, so that's your LCD. Okay, now, the other way to think of this is to treat it as prime factors. So you could think of this as 2 times 2. This is 2 times 2 times 2. You just break it down into prime factors. So when you look here, you need a factor of 2 times 2. Here you need three of them. You had two. You only need one more, giving you your LCD of 8. Okay. Regardless of that, we still treat this the same way as the others. We take the numerator of our first fraction. And we're going to multiply this by any LCD factors missing from its denominator. So if 8 is our LCD, what factor is missing from this denominator? One of the twos minus the next fraction's numerator, x minus 1, times what LCD factor is missing from its denominator? It's not missing anything. Okay. So when we look at this, we can now combine our terms in the numerator here. Distributing our 2, we get a 4x plus 2. Distribute our negative, we get a minus x. Minus a negative becomes plus 1. And so looking at this, we have a 3x plus 3 as our numerator, all over 8. <clears throat> and now, that, that will probably work if you enter this as your form. However, the numerator can't be factored. I would prefer you to think of everything in terms of factored forms, just so it gives you more information that way, or lets you interpret the information easier. Okay, there's no canceling, or no factors canceled from the denominator, so you don't have any additional domain restrictions. Either of these should work.